Okay, it's Christmas Day. I haven't put uh, many videos on uh, for the reason that I've got gold stones and they're causing some excruciating pain. Um, I've had a lot of food and breakfast, which wasn't a good idea because I'm now getting a gold bladder attack, as they call it. And the pain starts going underneath you and it's underneath the diaphragm area. And it just cripples up under there and it's it's a very hard pain to describe other than excruciating. That's the word I was looking for. So it don't matter what position you put your body in, it doesn't ease whatsoever. So the pain now is about a four, which is pretty horrific, but it's gonna hit a ten very soon and it's gonna last. It lasts on me about three hours. So just to give you an idea now it is in 10 days time i'm having the gallbladder removed so you might think you got sort of like the pain is like to describe it is it's obviously not an heart attack because your heart is more by you it's more under this side because that's where your gallbladder is roughly about by you so ah. oh, that is oh. That is something else now. So uh, operations 10 days time from the day. And I'll do a little documentary for you. And um, I've had, this is my ninth attack in four weeks. That's why it, uh, it got the stage. So I've had a scan. I've had a, a CT scan, so I've had all the looks out, and the gold stones are blocking the bile duct that comes out of the gold bladder, and the the body's crying out to have some bile, and your gold bladder can't produce it, so it swells up and causes all this problem. So basically, that's what's going on with me. Um, I fill you in as it goes along. So it's, a f it's about a four now. Unless I touch it, then it goes up to like a big problem. So I'll fill you in as I go along and put a documentary on. So if you do get pains to up under you, driving up and a little bit of pain when you're pressing, but yeah, you know what's happening to you. And at the same time as well, I've had this cough for six weeks, which I cough and cough and cough and projectile vomit. And I've literally been laying down for 18 hours a day. The only time I've actually left the house is to take Brad racing. And then, yeah, so there you go. That's what's going on with me at the moment. Um, Shamalina Dak Dak. The pain now of it is 10. It's about an hour since it all started. It can last anything from, for me anyway, it lasts anything from like two and a half to three hours. So I can do with this now for a... It's like... Can't describe it. But it don't matter what position you put your body in, it just will not ease off. Whether you're lid down, standing up. When you stood up, you can hunch over a little bit. But they don't really do a lot. Don't get me. Don't get the lady. No, 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 no. Right, here's Tim now. Um, it got the better of me today, everybody. Yeah. It's a 10 and it lasted three and a half hours and I just couldn't cope anymore. And I was it, I was it with him for four hours and uh, the pain was just too, too extreme. So, um, so you've had a morphine got, now? A bit of morphine, yeah. go to hospital, be home later on. Oh, just wait now, till yeah. the fifth. Okay, full update now. Uh, bloods, morphine. And more bloods taken on this arm. God, only way to describe it is the absolute worst. I mean, I've had it bad, but that was the worst of the worst. But it's dropping down now, so now I know that I'm going to be right in about half an hour until the next one. I suppose things affect people in different ways, but that was mine.